quick project using Adobe Illustrator just to get the basics down and learn how to use the pen tool and how to trace out a shape. Uh, if you have a picture of something, this would be really good if you had uh, a logo or a picture of something and you wanted to trace it out and transfer that to either a Silhouette machine or a Cricut and cut that out in a heat vinyl transfer and put that on a t-shirt or a tank top or a tea towel or whatever you want to transfer it to. So I thought we would do one using the Cardinal logo for the school. And so what we want to do is in my Schoology course uh, under the graphic design interview thing, I have a Cardinal logo I downloaded. So we can just open that up by clicking on that. And there's our nice Cardinal. So we're going to right click on that and we're going to save that image and we're just going to save it to our downloads. Save it there. There it goes. And then we can go right to Adobe Illustrator. Open that up. And you'll see over here on the left it says New File. We're going to click on that. And we have several recents and saved formats that we can use. But let's look at the preset details here and just create our own. So we are uh, looking at 612 point by 792 point. This is probably eight and a half by 11. If we switch this to inches, which is what we're used to, and you know, 8.5 by 11. So that's a standard piece of paper. We can have that in either portrait or landscape, and you can switch them around just by clicking on those things. So we'll leave it in portrait. We're gonna create one artboard. We're gonna leave these bleed settings as they are. We're gonna change the color mode to red, green, blue, RGB. And we're gonna leave the raster effects at high. We wanna export this. And preview mode is default. And we're gonna hit create. And there we go, there's our artboard. Now, just to make sure you guys using this on your computers looks pretty much the same as what I have, we wanna go up top here to window and select workspace. And we want to click on Essentials Classic. That's what I have. That has all these tools over here on the left. So when I'm selecting something, you'll be looking at something very similar to that. Now we have our artboard. We want to use the logo as a reference for tracing it out so that we can use that tracing then in another project. So we're going to go to File. And we don't want to hit Open. Open's going to open up a whole new artboard to do something else. What we want to do is place down here. So click file and then place and then navigate to your downloads. And there's that Cardinal logo and we're going to click place. And we're just going to drag it over here and it's probably going to be too big. It is too big. So what we need to do is we need to shrink it down. Now we got to be really careful when we shrink it down. If we just grab this corner and start moving it, we can mess up the formatting and all that. So what we do is when we click on it, we click and hold the shift key down. That helps us scale it so that the height and the width change at the same rate. So let's see how that looks. That didn't look right. So let's just undo that. Now's a good time to talk about keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I did have a PDF in there of keyboard shortcuts. So we want to undo what we just did. So we're going to hit the, on the Mac, it's the Command Z. On a PC, it's Control Z. So that'll bring us back to where we started. So let's hold that Shift key again. Grab that anchor point. Drag that down. Let go of the mouse. Then let go of the Shift. There we go. And there's our Cardinal. We'll put it right in the middle of our project. And that's actually a pretty good size. Right there. Okay. So that's what we're gonna trace over. Now we don't wanna trace right on the artwork because we'd like to remove the artwork later and have just the tracing out. So we wanna add a layer to this. So right now, if you look on the left here, the nice thing about this software too is if you just hover the mouse over any of these buttons, it'll tell you what they are. So down here you have the layers one and here's our layer one with our cardinal in it. So we're just gonna double click on that name where it says layer one. And we're just going to change that to something else. We're going to call that reference because this is our reference art that we're going to use. Hit enter. And so, and we want to make sure we don't mess this up or do something to it accidentally. So to the left of 
the name and the little block that is this empty block here. And you can see when you move your mouse over it, it changes to a pointer. If you click there, that locks it. Now we can't do anything to that. But we don't want to draw on it, like I said. So we want to add another layer on top of that that we're going to do our tracing on. So we're going to hit the plus button here, create new layer. And we're just going to double click on that and change that to, I don't know, we'll call it outline. Okay. Now we're in our outline layer and we want to select the pen tool. Now, if you just hold the button down while you're hovering over the pen tool, you'll get some more options. You'll see you can do add anchor points, delete anchor points. We'll get into that in another project. Right now, we just want to be in the pen tool. And down here, you have your fill and stroke. So we want to click on the fill, and we don't want to fill it in. And then on the stroke, we also want to not have a huge block around what we're tracing. Okay, now, the outline here, it's red and white. So we're going to need a color that's going to stand out when we're tracing this. So we're going to double click on this again. And, oh, it's already in the green band. So you can slide this up to see what band of colors you want to look at. So we want something that's going to stand out. So maybe green. And we'll go in the upper right corner here and just select a really nice shade of green and hit OK. And then right now this says it's at one point. That's probably going to be too thin for us to really see very well what we're doing. So we're going to move that up to about a six. Now to make things a little easier, we want to zoom in on this part because we're going to start here in the upper left corner of the cardinal. So we're going to hit that. Um, we're going to hit command and the plus key on the keyboard and that's going to make it bigger. So we're going to zoom in a little bit and we can scroll up with the mouse. And you can see as you zoom in, and we talked about the difference between vector and raster graphics. This picture is a raster graphic. So when we zoom in on it, you can see how it gets uneven. You can see the little blockiness from the pixels in there. So we're going to do this as a vector now. We're going to create these vectors and then we can scale it to whatever size we want. So we have the pen tool selected and we're going to do this in green. So what we're going to do is we're going to just click one time on this upper left corner here of the cardinal. And that's going to put an anchor point there. Now when I drag the mouse away, you can see there's a red line that shows me where I'm going to make a straight line. So I'm going to make a straight line to about here. But now here's the thing. When I click, I'm going to hold the button down. I'm not going to let it go. So I'm going to click to put that anchor point there, and then I'm going to move the mouse, and that's going to help me create the curve I want. I can just move the mouse around until I get the curve the way I want it, looking good right about there, and then let it go, and there I've made the first tracing. See that? And it's following that curve there. Now, the second tracing, you can see the, the it's already curving, because I'm kind of in a curve mode. But I want to be in a straight line mode because I want to drag this over to here. Actually, that's not really that bad. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click once on the previous anchor point I just put down. And that's going to switch it over to a straight line. So I'm going to come to about here. Click and hold. And I'm going to drag that into a curve until I've got that shape. It is really hard to see the red against the red. But let's see how that looks. Not, that's pretty good. That's pretty good too. So again, click on the previous point and come back here. Let's see if I can do this all the way down here. Click on this, hold, and then make that curve. Move that curve around, make it bigger. Look at that. Let go. Oh yeah. And look at that. <laughs> yeah, see the curve the curving this part can get out of control real quick. So we'll just go back, click on that anchor point to make it straight again. And we're going to go to the end of the beak. Right about there. And we're going to drag that. And we're going to put that curve in there. Look at that. Move it around right there. That looks pretty good. And 
we need to navigate this little part of the beak here. So we're going to put a short point there, hold it. See, that's way too much line. See, now watch when I let that go. See, that looks terrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Command Z and take that away. And then we're going to click on the previous anchor point again to make it straight. We're going to come here and then we're just going to drag that curve around like that. There we go. Click on it. Make it straight. Come down here. And then drag that. There we go. Whoops. Drag that a little too much. There we go. Now we can see what we're doing. And we're going to move that curve. We're going to move that curve. Not that much. There we go. Move that curve. Until it's got the right shape. There we go. Look at that. Click on this. Come to here. Click and hold. Drag that. Uh, look at that. Right about there. Looks good. Click and hold. Now, this has an inner curve and an outer curve, so we're just going to come about this point right here. Click and hold that anchor point and move that curve down. And then click and hold again. Come up to here. Just a little bit of a curve there. And then click there. We're almost done actually. Come to about, we're going to come to about here. And the reason we're going to stop there is because. We have to navigate this little feathers in the back. So we'll click that and we're going to put another, it's going to be a really short one. There we go. Click and make that straight. Look, we're almost done. Right to about there. And then click on that, make it straight, and put one there. And then curve it a little bit. Click and make it straight. Put one there. And then last one, click and make it straight. Close that off and curve it a little bit, just a little bit. And there we go. Now we've traced out the entire outer portion of the Cardinal logo. Let's hit uh, Command minus so we can bring this out. And now like you can notice like the project is off to the right a little bit. So if you want to move it back to the left, but you don't want to put more anchor points in because look right now, I'm still in the pen tool. So I'm going to come over here and click on the hand. And then I'm just going to drag the project and bring it back into position. Just like that. And that looks pretty good. Now if you want to do an inner layer, let's say you want to do the red one. Because you can't just scale the picture down and then do a different color and expect it to fit in there. You can see these are wider. This has more of an angle to it. You know, the red layer is not exactly the same shape as the outer layer because it doesn't just scale down perfectly like that. So if you wanted to do this as multiple cuts on a, on a heat transfer cut, you'd have to do this as your outer layer. Then you'd have to do another layer for this red part and put it on top of that on the heat press and press them together. So what we want to do is go back to our layers over here and we want to just add another layer. And we can call this, we'll double click on that, we'll call this the red layer. And we can lock the outline layer so we don't accidentally change that. And then we're going to make sure we're clicked on the red layer. And then we would just do it all over again. Um, maybe, so we'll go back to the pen and maybe, maybe do this one in a different color if we want. Double click on that. And what might stand up, maybe blue. Maybe a lighter blue would would show up good. Let's find out. And we'll start right there in the corner. And we'll drag that over to about there. And drag that till that curve matches. Let it go. Look at that. Click it and make it straight. Put an anchor point there. Drag it. We could just keep doing that. Now, look, I'm I'm still 
ready to leave an anchor point, but I want to stop for a minute. So how do I get rid of this? I'm just going to come back over here to the select tool and pick a selection. And now I'm, I'm out of it. Now I can look at things and I'm not dragging lines over any other place. So I'm starting the next layer. And then I could do another layer just for the beak and do that in another color too. And that's how I can do all those things in different layers. And hopefully you got the hang a little bit of using the pen tool and using some of the keyboard shortcuts. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or talk to me in a class and have a good rest of your day.